Edge Canary! Welcome to the land of the legendary gamers. Beverly Shills, thanks for watching so much over the last while. Make sure that trickle down economy stays in action. Our next shillionaire will now only have to spend 999,846 shillings. Look at how affordable it is. Be sure to ping me on the subs discord server to get access to Beverly Shills. It is truly the place you want to be. The second Shillionaire will truly be easier. It is. Hey, Jen, as someone who's fidgety, being able to lean back in the new chair is uh, is a, a welcome change of pace. It did not. I did not realize how much I was going to utilize that feature until I did. Until I until I had it. into here so I have the option to end the dog on the left. Thinks they're craven bigger obviously. Looks pretty large regardless. Hunting Vorbeer. We like do this. Guess the plan. Definitely combinations of like shanks and stuff that beat us here. Uh, we beat that though, yeah, even without the rocket trigger. The wolf jumps over. MVP, thank you for the 11 months. Welcome back. You are definitely among the better werewolf players I've seen. Werewolf is such a skill testing and interesting card. Having having to manage your board space to get the most out of it is phenomenal. I like it a lot. Have you thought about werewolf and the new zombie? I have thought about it. It's probably not very good. I, I like this deck's inclusion of Psylocke. I think, the, I think the two extra points in general make Psylocke... Don't make Zapu better than Psylocke. Psylocke just gives you more flexibility. Oh, snap. Here's a world where Wolf costs two, three again. I hope so. I'd really love to see three one Wolf. Is Widow really better here than Hitmonkey? Yes. This deck is not structured in a way at all that is playing a lot of cards the last turn of the game. Generally, generally speaking, Darkhawk is a turn six play like we saw in that game we just played. Does Werewolf chase the unrevealed card moved by Grandmaster? No, Werewolf specifically does not follow cards that trigger on reveals. Werewolf moves when you play a card that had an on reveal effect. Which is why it jumps into paths if there's a Cosmo or something.
This means I miss a draw, is that okay? I think so. Basically, what Werewolf does is when you finish playing a card, Werewolf asks the question, hey, did the card that just finished getting played have an odd reveal? If yes, I jump there. Do I want to brick a draw here? Don't think so. This gives me demon, two draws, draw for the turn. We're not playing the demon, should we cork instead? Maybe holding the cork has value if I spike um, werewolf. Again, with Darkhawk being a part of our turn six play. They're almost assuredly a Shang-Chi deck. I very much do not want to try and clone a Darkhawk. Four spots for Darkhawk plus three ones here. I think I I think I realistically play for all of them, yeah. I think I wanna split Rocket and Darkhawk so that way they don't both die to a Shang. I wanna end on Korg trying to kick these out of here. Are they just like expecting to win the left if I... I guess they were just expecting to win the left. We actually, we actually gonna caster roll them here? I think we're gonna caster roll them here. Oh no, they do have shake cheese. play two to ten or are we done here Judo tam thank you for the five years welcome back boy golly do i have just the emote for you
You get Black Widow on buy for a free bar win. Big true, big true. Doesn't Widow turn off our draw? Yeah, but she wins us the left, guaranteed. Is the, is the point of this play. Could be their last card. Would you say our deck can be used competitively? Maybe. I don't know. say that was two good sets back to back with it though so probably get a deck highlight appearance this is a style of deck that i would love to have be good are in danger. Yikes. All right, we have the power. So do they. draw because they had the Widow's Bite. That's actually a good shout. I missed that. I 
unlikely to hit with Rocket Raccoon here. Oh my god, we did. That's so perfect. They have no cards in their hand right now. Part of me wants to Nico Rocket, but I don't want to be exposed to Killmonger. I need to duck priority here. Just rock sliding Black Swan. We, we dismantled them, holy. Body. Thank you for the 41 months. Welcome back. That's actually a really unlucky location for us because it means I can't bring back Rock Slide and Korg now. Sad. Killmongering proactively is great for us. And even if they peel the Zola for the Nell, the Null here, it's only adding 12 here, right up to 17. Mm, I suppose we should play around Shang, yeah? This beats Shang because of the beast gets the Atlantis bonus. This plays for all three. I should play for all three. Oh, if they shank left, they have priority. Yeah, that's fair.
All right, it's time for some adverts. I'm going to scarf down the rest of my lunch, but I think we'll play some more of this when we get back. It's been a fun set. Thanks for hanging out. Don't go anywhere, gamers. watch a YouTube video yet today, chat. Here, you can watch this while I stuff my face. Before we move on, I'd like to say a quick minute about the sponsor of today's video, Flexispot. Flexispot not only makes the standing desk that I absolutely love and swear by, they make the exercise bike that you'll often see me sweating in while we sweat playing Conquest in Marvel Snap, but they also make the OC6 office chair that I'm currently sitting in right now that's rated to hold up to 500 pounds it's wonderful for leaning back in and has all sorts of adjustments up down all around to get the armrest and everything else situated just right in addition to having phenomenal lumbar support if you'd like to support my content while also getting some premium office supplies for yourself be sure to check out my link in the video description down below for everything flexus to show off the the modeling career that I gave up to be here with all of you, okay? Lots of spot stuff is great, but I was I was showing off myself there, okay? Just up to the AFK YouTube channel. Nice. Thanks, Mr. City. Yeah, but I posted some regular uh, draft videos up there. Set of locations to start. sports team i do not follow any type of sport other than the ones that begin with an e friendly neighborhood spider-man here equestrian racing yes he nailed it the real gamers understand Real gamers know. I think we snap on this bit of misfortune. And I just plan to like jump the dog back and forth and we'll kick the silk out on the last turn. Win the game.
And then this here notably does not. Um, notably, my werewolf is not shangable. Is nice. Fox only 12, though. We have 26 on the left. I feel like there's worlds where this wins the game. The turn three, both spiders deciding to have a party in Savage Lands was really good for us. Why would I take a 50-50 to have a chance to win the right lane for free, Kid Diggity, when I guaranteed was winning the left lane for free? Can you explain? Or winning the center lane for free? There's no reason to gamble. Ooh, the throne room animation looks real slick. I paid attention since they added that one. Than them. Well, let's, I suppose they could have Red Hulk in hand. They have Red Hulk in hand. Elysium is probably better for them. Let's find out. We don't. We don't know yet because we played on curve the first two turns. No Red Hulk yet. I do this so that way if I draw a beast, the wolf is here and I can beast here. I think that's the play. As always, when Flexa spots the sponsor, it's the best desk I've ever had. You won't regret the purchase. Glad you enjoyed it, Opaque Destroyer. My, my testament past my own I can give is that my referral code since I started working with Flexispot last year has generated over 20,000 USD in sales at this point. And I've uh, literally never had anybody tell me they've had any problems with any of the purchases from all of that. Do I want to play? Do I want to play the Dark Hawk out? I don't think so. Oh, I could get a second Dark Hawk. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's probably the play, right? Because then I can play for all of them. End at 16 too, because I get to uh get to play Korg next turn. I think I spread like this. Because I want the dog to end up here. I just want hawk, hawk, dog. 
Is there, their vision could end up anywhere. Do I need the dog to end up right, actually? I guess I don't want to get shanged out of it in the middle. Their Jeff could move too. Yeah, I, th I think I just have to spread and play for all three here. Hawk dog, hawk dog, hawk diggity dog! The parents out there know, chat. They know. No shadow kick me on the right. Whoo, my sandcastle is safe. My sandcastle is safe. Victory. Sino Ezer, if you come back and watch this after the facts, I know you mentioned you poked out a chat when this started. I just want you to know I see your pixel Shang-Chi and I am judging you appropriately for it. The pixel shakes you with a green border at that, yeah. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Oh, puppy. Puppy! Or should I say puppy? Puppy! another Jin. Do I? I don't think I do. Keeps two off the Kraven too. right order? I can't remember. I did not. Okay, cool. I pulled, I pulled it back and forth too many times. Bouncing one one, yeah. All 
systems go. I have priority to shake me here too. Yeah, I'm not very happy with my sequencing this game. dog to end the middle, I think. We'll go here. I think we're probably just getting tech card. It doesn't matter. This and the dog here. I guess the way this works out, I can't, uh, I super just said to a shake though. Oh, I'm just not gonna be big enough on the right, yeah. Maybe I should have played to be bigger. They actually didn't have shake. I probably should have been just been played to be bigger than five in the middle, yeah. Because I'm not winning. I'm not winning right regardless with this. If I would have put Rocket Raccoon. Nico in the center, and then end of the dog on the right, we win here. It's also a little overkill if they play Red Hulk left while keeping vision there, though. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think their vision is supposed to move. I don't think vision and Red Hulk are supposed to be in the same path for them. That's fine, we got four more shots to take him down here. spot to put uh you do this I guess they're not free next turn I do this and the next turn I do this this is probably the play Draw Hawk, right? It's happening. Swat on the last turn. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Well, that makes me glad I found it.
What do you think of this? And if they play into the Ghoulia, my rock, my hawk gets huge middle. I like that this plays for all three, which is good against Red Hulk. Didn't get bar with no name. Thanks, Wanda. Victory. So mid max egg with Deco on uh, random location. I, I don't think so. I think it's just mostly doesn't matter. I suppose there's locations like Island that would have let them win the center. So yeah, maybe we are supposed to do it on the demon. Uh, good luck in the rest of your conquesting today, Zaito. It did seem like we had a solid match up there. Dodge a Shang-Chi, we can dodge a ball. Into rock slide, into werewolf, into beast hood and rock slide. Sinistral is actually quite mediocre for the non Darkhawk part of our deck. Except Rock Sliding. Rock Slide is very good against Dex playing magic. Do I need to get rid of Limbo here? Do you believe there's no such thing as a dumb question? Definitely not. Definitely lots of stupid questions. Oh, I guess I need to get rid of this though, yeah. Whole point. Have you met chat? <laughs> Fucking truth. Dude, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Let me introduce you to chat. You tell me. Iron Man Onslaught here. And then that's 17 times 4. 68. 76 divided by 3. They're going to have 25 everywhere. This doesn't beat 25 everywhere, right? I'm going to be at 16. Yeah, I'm only going to go to 24 here. Or sorry, 22. Yeah, I think I have to leave. Like, I think this match is probably favorable for Escaped. us overall. And I'm not staying in a game where they're likely here. They they have a chance here because of the monster. Oh, snap. 
you think would be a huge quality of life improvement needed in Marvel Snap? Uh, the timers in Conquest especially need a complete and total overhaul. You should not be able to run down your full turn timer every single turn without punishment. Don't you want to keep Cuddle and Clear for more wolf bounces? I'm going to Beast or Falcon here. Faster collection track opening. That's a bug fix, not a quality of life improvement. Those are different. I have to be at work 13 hours from now. Do you think now is a good time to start playing AFK Journey? Depends on how much willpower you have. And yes, they are working on addressing how long it takes to claim things off the track. that every bounce deck comes with a free Crimson Cosmos because you just vividly remember the Crimson Cosmos games more frequently when they hose you. I am not snapping here because uh, I don't have any disruption for their draw yet. Still just five in. Titan's also good for them here. That's good for us. Nico rolling location change early is not stellar for us. Um, Black Widow here is that if I cop or with Beast is that there's no guarantee we're gonna get to play multiple beasts out, right?
BRB for one second, gamers. played into this early makes me think they already had the combo in hand, yeah? I think we're just supposed to leave. I don't think I don't think I'm supposed to give him four cubes here. If they have the tribunal, they get 16, 64, uh, 60... 68, 68 divided by three, they have 23 everywhere. Snapping openers that have mixtures of Korg and Black Widow in them. That could actually be useful if uh, we can get in their Iron Man path. So amusingly, being able to beast their reality stone here is actually kind of funny, yeah? playing this for tempo I don't think so I guess drawing a card is nice though yeah they're just playing here every time basically yeah so I don't know if I'm comboed Yeah, I think Nexus is good for us. I beasting these back? I think I beasting these back. A swan plus beast middle. No. They could be magicking us here.
We were winning even with Demon there. Do I need this little stone? Some extra extra, which is nice. Crockett, thank you for the 52 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Would you like to make this the one? Oh, fuck. So I'm pretty sure this is a matchup where I need to prioritize disrupting them as opposed to building the wolf up, he says, before Liberia happens. Awkward. So before this flipped up, I was going to do this. So that way I could prioritize bricking more of their draws more consistently. But now that's obviously not an option. So we'll play the dog. The hope here is that they just don't have a functional draw, right? That's what we're hoping for. We're hoping all of our disruption makes that not happen. Lamaria well, definitely helped it, though. Anything, anything they can play is free. There's no point in playing there's no point in playing rock slide this turn because black widow is going to cut them off and draw anyways i'm gonna have plenty of energy yeah priority here, so Jubilee doesn't matter. I suppose playing for priority going into the last turn could be relevant with, like, an Iron Land. Okay, and then they have one card here, yeah? Because one of their cards is Widow's Bite. So, so long as I, so they have 15, uh, 22, they have 31, 31 with Living Tribunal. So I need to beat 10 everywhere while also playing for every location. The, the, this isn't scary chat. They only have, they have one card at a Widow's Bite. Blue Marvel's not a card in their output range. Usually only the, what's it called, builds play that. So this beats Iron Man and Living Tribunal. I don't have the capacity to play to beat Blue Marvel, I don't think. And all those other things. Just play for the outside locations. No, I think I'm supposed to play for all three in case they have a random big thing, yeah? Uh, 
Ah, uh, the bite didn't matter. They only had 10 either way, Jet. Is this deck competitive? It certainly, it certainly feels like it. All right, wait, hold on. I actually need to run adverts again. Let's run some adverts. We'll play the last one. We'll have some closing thoughts. We'll move on to our next viewer deck. Thanks for checking out, gamers. How infinitely dead is it to Hella? Well, you could just beat Hella's, you could disrupt Hella's draw, Burgle. I actually think Darkhawk stuff, especially when you're playing Black Widow, is the best fair thing you could do into Hella by a wide margin. Yeah, if, if combo is heavy, then the, the Darkhawk package disruption is probably pretty competitive. We played some Stature Hawk and that felt okay, and that build wasn't playing Black Widow. Black Widow makes you, Black Widow's really good against decks like Tribunal. You don't have high cube equity against them, but you have high win rate for breaking up their draws. It's definitely, definitely the case. Teddy S, thank you for the three quarters of a year. Welcome back, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna let this one. This one's been a long viewer set, but I want to encourage people to submit sweet, sweet decks. So when they're sweet, I'm having a good time. We run a little bit longer. This will be our last game with this one. Win or lose, we've been playing this for probably close to an hour, hour and a half already. We've got a few more viewer decks teed up. Titan Killer. Thank you for the 11 months. Appreciate that. And Whoopi Whoopi. Is that Woo Pie Pie or Whoopi Whoopi? I don't know. Thanks for that. Thanks for the brand new primer. Dark Hawk Gaming. Bum, 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 bum. Chad, if this is wrong, then I have no desire to be right. <laughs> Gonna rock out! So you don't have Falcon? No, probably not. I probably just play it mid if I don't have Falcon. When your subterranea is one sided, gamers. Change the location on the left. What are they? What are they playing left that they're snapping? Is it Jeff? It's gotta be Jeff, right? Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Uh oh, okay, sure. I mean, that's a lot of points. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Friendly neighborhood. 
neighborhood Spider-Man here. Parker! Hopefully his other one goes mid, then they're locked in. Yeah, sick. What do we think of this? Victory. I, I think we do this, and then like the Dark Hawk wins the center, and then we should have a bunch of points here to beat them. You got four cubes. It does look like we got four cubes. One sided. One sided subterranea. Slightly above average. The classic Ben Brode snap back with a handful of rocks. Fair. Well, we're gonna play Psylocke and then Spike Werewolf. That's an interesting one. That hopefully means they don't have Shang then. I bet their deck can't interact with this. A snap on, a snap on the Mindscape, I think. He's ready for them to draw their Shang-Chi. Yes! We have their Shang-Chi too! Oh, Duncan! She she sha! Victory! I oh! Let's go! Now. 
I've said this before, but I think it bears repeating. I would really love it if after they adjusted Hella down a little bit, if this deck the opponent was playing became the best deck in Marvel Snap. Really, really just truly think that when this style of deck is the best deck in the game, the game is in such a good place. Just like, it, it plays, like, the, the only dishonest thing about it is Shang-Chi. Is like the TLDR. Good job, Pete. Appreciate you playing for the home team. Think Rocket hits here, but... Alas, I think this is still the play. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to bounce the left. I want to bounce Black Widow, I think. Wait, they put Captain Marvel into Mojo World? That's gotta be wrong. in their hand we're aware of. Century instead of Rocket Record. I think Andy and Century is too much top end. I don't think you can play Werewolf and Darkhawk and Andy all in the same deck. You hood left because I don't think I want to give them the left for free, is the thing. Maybe I was supposed to. loses to them just playing Red Hulk, right? This is seven, eight, nine. The question is, where do they shuffle these two? Good answer here. I have further hey, to put the demon. Hey, to put the demon right. I, I almost put the demon right as well. Yeah, I think, I think I needed to bail on Mojo World. Bail on Mojo World. Close game. Well, that's close considering we, uh, we didn't have Werewolf.
I think Black Swan's probably the one card that's felt kind of mediocre in this deck. Well, maybe it's fine in a spot like this. I'll just be right to leave. Yeah, the last game was just a giant coin flip. They just had all their cards that could move and a Red Hulk that could go anywhere. I don't have any bouncers, but I have Wolfie and, and Hawk. Two kitties actually isn't great for them. And Wolf, Wolf lets me play for Quantum Realm. Bye bye, Nico, for now. the best chance to have priority and then I have Nico, Korg, and Darkhawk to play on the last turn. Miter. Victory. Captain Captain Marvel jumps to get them season pass XP, giving you a little bit of a scare. <laughs> uh, this we set. Um, I think I I really like ten of these cards. Um, I think Black Swan and Rocket Raccoon are probably. The two question marks in my in my brain. Um, 
the stat the stats on Rocket Raccoon were super super relevant in a few games that we played. So I think he's probably fine to keep. I feel like Black Swan is could probably stand to just be another good one drop. Like I think I think you could just round out the anti combo disruption at the bottom end and sub Black Swan for Iceman. Yeah, yeah, if you were gonna sub Rocket Raccoon, subbing him for Hawkeye could be good. He's a little bit more, a little bit easier to bounce to get value out of. You think Black Swan is good? Maybe. So one of the one of the things that Black Swan does that's nice. There's there's two things that Black Swan does that's nice here. The first is that Black Swan on three lets you play Wolf and chase your tail on four. The second is that Black Swan on five lets you interface with um with Darkhawk plus one's the last turn. It mitigates Crimson Cosmos. Maybe like Beast mitigates Crimson Cosmos and you could just like plunk a Darkhawk down there. So I don't know that that's like a real concern. Either way, this was fun. Felt pretty competitive in the games that we played. We played against a lot of the meta combo decks that chewed those up and spat those out. I don't have a record for it because it's mixed in with all the other viewer decks we've done today, but I'm going to name this one. That's definitely getting a highlight. That was stellar.